From the Oakland Hills to Jack London Square, the Port of Oakland to the Coliseum, KTVU presents Talk of the Town, an engaging conversation about the people and issues important to Oakland. Hello, I'm Dave Clark, and I welcome you to Talk of the Town. It's a pleasure to be here with you, and today we're talking to a very interesting man who I'm so glad is here. I'm talking to Kim Cloud. Kim Cloud is the owner of one of my favorite places, It's All Good Bakery, 5622 Martin Luther King Way in Oakland. Not only is it a great bakery, but the building used to house the headquarters of the Black Panther Party. That is correct. Now, there's a controversy about this building and your plans. What are your plans for this building? You know, I'm glad you asked that, yeah. Dave. Uh, first of all, let me give you a little history about myself. Um, I'm born and raised here in Oakland. Uh, my wife is born and raised here in Oakland and all my kids. So, you know, I've been here all my life. Um, the thing about it is um, about, mm, say, 27 years ago, uh, I purchased the building. At the time I purchased the building, I, I wasn't aware that it was the Black Panthers headquarters. And so um, now as time gone, the building's getting old and everything, and we decided to tear it down and, and build some new development. It's already a mixed use place with the bakery downstairs. Mm -hmm. We have units upstairs. And so we've been approved for um, five story, uh, 20 units. It's gonna be all um, two bedroom units. And um, you know, it was a lot of controversy about um, you know, it being the Black Panther's first headquarters and everything. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people didn't even realize that um, before I brought it to their attention um, that it was the Black Panther's first headquarters. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a quick little story. Uh, one day I was in, in the bakery working and um, I heard one of the customers say, oh, that's Bobby Seal. And so I went over to Bobby Seal and said, hey, Bobby, how you doing? My name is Kim Cloud. Um, I was a part of the kid of the breakfast program mm -hmm. and um, I'm happy to see you. And he said, oh, yes, um, this was the Black Panther's first headquarters. And that's how we discovered it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was your reaction when he said that? <laughs> I, I was, you know, it was like um, uh, finding my black hero all over again, you know what I mean? Because like I said, I was part of the breakfast program, yeah. and I grew up in West Oakland, and so I, I remember, I was a kid, but I remember, you know, Harry P. Newton and mm. David Hillier and, and Bobby Seale, I remember them as a kid, and so it's like in my childhood all over again, you know, because, you know, I'm proud of Oakland. Yeah, there are people you know who are upset. Maybe they don't know the proper information. They were saying, preserve that building. How dare you think about tearing it down? Right. It's a part of the nation's history. Correct. And the thing about it is, um, they were only there for a short period of time. I think they was there maybe a year. And the place, since I've owned the place, it's had three owners. So it's not even the same that it was back then. It's yeah. already have changed. So what are you preserving? It is, it's already. So the thing about it is when um, David Healy came in and he was doing uh, tours. They had tours come from all around. Yeah. Um, I donated the wall. So, you know, you walk into the bakeries, you see the wall. I donated the wall and say, hey, David, you know, this is my way of giving back to the community. This is your wall. This is the Black Panther's wall. Put whatever you want to put on that wall. And that's how the wall became uh, what it is today in the bakery. Now, for those who have not seen that wall, describe what's on it. Um, it has the history of, of the, the Black Panthers, it given, it given the history, the 10 point um, step they had. It just gives it the whole history of it. And um, unfortunately, I mean, <laughs> I haven't read it personally myself, yeah. but it's a beautiful wall. And it, yeah. they, they've changed it twice. And uh, Frederica um, just uh, changed it here recently, and they did a great job. So you want to definitely come by and, and see the history and, and read up on it and everything. Hmm. So tell us what the future building will be. When do you plan to move ahead and demolish what's there now? And what are you going to put up? Describe what's going to go on. So um, hopefully um, we'll be ready next year, hopefully. If everything goes according to plan, we're still in the early stages of, you know, getting everything approved and everything. Um, but like I say, it's going to be five stories. The bakery will still be downstairs and we'll relocate in the process. We'll relocate to a different location while the building is being built. Mm -hmm. And then, like I say, when we, we come back to the new location, the bakery will still be downstairs and then we'll have uh, four stories over the top. And then, like I said, it'll be 20 units. 
and um, that's pretty much it. Now you're thinking ahead to also your future generations of them building and doing something good for them. Explain that. <laughs> yes, you know, um, I have kids and you know, if I feel that if I don't leave something behind for them, the way that things are so high and the way things have became Oakland since I was a child, they couldn't afford to stay here. So, you know, I'm trying to leave something behind for my family and kids, you know, um, to have when I'm dead and gone, you know. And so this is what I'm, this is what I'm doing. Hmm. Those people who don't really understand your, your meaning behind it, who are saying, well, don't take away my sweet potato pies and my cakes <laughs> and don't destroy the building. If you were looking at them directly and just talking to what they feel their needs are, what would you say to them? Well, I'm, I'm building uh, generation wealth for my kids and their future, you know, and I want the opportunity to do that. I feel that it's only fair that because I'm born and raised here to have the same opportunities these, these other developers and people come into our community and is doing, I want to be able to have the same opportunity to leave my family something behind. Um, so basically, I just want to make sure, you know, if uh, I leave here today or tomorrow, that my family is taken care of. Interesting, and I, I think many people can understand that. Right. Of members of the Black Panther Party, have they been? Very supportive. Yeah. You know, Frederica, very sweet young lady, um, has been very supportive. You know, they got a lot of slack, and she's came down and showed her support. And um, most people that knows me and knows the history that it's a black-owned bakery, I do own the building, because initially it went out as uh, I had a landlord, and that they were, were, gentrification was coming in and they were pushing me yeah. out. That's not the case. I'm building the building. It's for my future and my family's future. And this is, and this is what we're doing. And so um, when I contacted Frederica, she was very supportive. And we told her that we would definitely keep the history alive. So even when we build a new building, yeah. um, we're going to have a wall inside again with, in a new location. And we're also going to put a, a, a plaque on the outside of the wall to let people know this is the Black Panthers first headquarters. So we're going to do a, bron a bronze plaque on the outside of the building as well. It's very interesting. Yes. Uh, did it ever get difficult for you, the people who questioned your motive or thought that maybe it's, for, for lack of uh, another way of saying, some white businessman coming in that just wants to move a piece of Oakland history out? Yes, you, you know, the, the, the thing about it is, Dave, is that when it first, I'm not, me personally, I'm not on social media. The bakery is yeah. and everything, but I'm not personally on social media. So I remember getting a phone call from my, uh, my daughter, and she was very upset because it started going across the, the Internet and everything that we need to go down there. We need to protest. We need to, um, every p black people, let's get together. Let's go down here. We, we, we can't let this building get torn down. This is the Black, uh, black Panthers' uh, first headquarter. They're trying to get rid of the history. And they were misled. They, they, they didn't get the truth. And the truth is because a lot of people didn't know, again, yeah. that it was a black-owned business and that I owned the property. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so again, so they thought that some white developers were coming in, pushing us out and everything, and, and uh, was going to come in and, and tear the building down and, and put us out of business. But I, had, I, I still explain to people today to come by the bakery, and I thank them for the support for the last 27 years, because without them, I, none of this would be possible. Um, that um, with all the love and support, this is why I'm able to do what I'm getting ready to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, so tell me about this opportunity mm -hmm. that you and I are having right now. Right. To just get out and just talk right. about uh, what your plans are. Does that, how does that make you feel, having this television opportunity? You, you know, it, it helps me set the record straight. Yeah. And, and uh, I really welcome, what, what, you'd be surprised, people that approach me on the streets, What's going on? Is, is, is the bakery moving? What, what's going to happen? I'm not going to be able to get my sweet potato pie for the holidays, mm -hmm. you know. And I and I take time and and to um to explain to them what's going on. Even those hostile ones that come through and is like, mm -hmm. we don't want an, another apartment building, you know, that people can't afford. And, and what are you doing for low income people? 
you know, I tell them all the time, say, look, if someone didn't give me a chance, an opportunity, what would I be right now today? I grew up in the projects on welfare. You know I mean? We, you know, all the homeless and stuff that's going on around. I didn't see that when I was a kid because we had somewhere, we had the projects. Yeah. So we, 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 you know, I was raised in the projects. And so with, you know, with that being said, you know, I, even the one, like say this hostel to come up to me and, 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 you believe I could be shopping at Safeway, and believe me, someone will recognize me and come yeah. up and say those things to me, and I just take time to explain to them, and they're like, you know, I'm glad you took time to explain that to me. Now I understand what's going on. You know what I mean? I wonder yes. what you may have been facing about all of this. Yes. Is there anything else about this project that I didn't ask you you want to bring out about it? Well, you know, I, I just want to just take time to um, thank... Um, the city of Oakland, you know, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm born and raised here. I'm proud of my city, and you know, and and just, I, I want to beautify our city. You know, I mean, it's not like you know, the building's going to be some dump or some eyesore. Or some, it's going to make our community, you know, a lot better. And um, we we are um, also uh, offering low income units for the, the people in the community. You know what I mean? And so I'm I'm just excited by building this building and and giving us, um, our people somewhere to stay. I wish you much success. And I'll congratulate you on credit before it all happens. Right. And I know much more will happen. Correct. Uh, Kim Cloud, thank you for being here. Thank it's you It's been really me. good to meet you, talk to you, and, and I hope that what you're planning turns out exactly as you plan it. You know, it's like I say, it's, it's a tough road. You yeah. know what I mean? I, and, I, and I know I got some more tough days ahead of me, yeah. but I, I'm up for the challenge, you know what I mean? So at, at the end of the day, it's going to be great. Okay, I want to see this. All right. All right. We've been talking to Kim Cloud, the owner of It's All Good Bakery in Oakland, 5622 Martin Luther King Way, a very interesting person to talk to, and that's exactly what we want to do with this show. I thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching Talk of the Town. I'm Dave Clark, and we'll see you next time.